So, family, Leos, what's happening? What's been popping in your lives? We have the sun coming up in the underlying energy, the potential for great happiness. There's nothing blinding you whatsoever right now. The sun is showing up and it's shining so bright that you can see right down the God's darn road. You know exactly where your happiness lies. And I actually made a post recently about um, about this very, about the sun and, and be patient with the messenger oracle. You know what makes you happy. The sun is literally across the ocean. You know exactly where you need to be, but you have to leave your car from the parking lot, go through the sand into the, into the beach and, you know, and, and touch the water and be able to embrace the sun with all both arms. But that journey and going through it is the point. That's the biggest point. It has nothing to do with the happiness card. It's yes, you see the light down the end of the tunnel, but you still have to walk down that tunnel. And I don't think a lick of y'all are stressed out about it whatsoever. I feel like you guys are super, uh, honestly, really ready for this. Now, of course, with everything illuminated, there's going to be things that you cannot avoid. And I feel like that those areas in which you cannot avoid are things that you're honestly showing yourself great compassion through. You're not beating yourself up about it. You're not, you're not causing yourself great deals of pain here. You're not being terrible to yourself, which is great. But I do feel like there is some small setbacks that you're acknowledging and working on healing at this moment. The sun is such a healing energy, so warm. It's so beautiful. It's incumbent. And I feel like with the sun, I feel like with the sun coming up like this, there is definitely nothing that can stop you now. Nothing that can stop you from being happy. And oh man, the wheel of fortune underneath here, y'all. Ooh, you know what's up. This is a new opportunity that this is a change of luck. And this change of luck is definitely going to be in your favor because how you guys are seeing it, how you guys believe it is already in your favor. It's excellent. So the heart of your reading is the magician. And the magician is really an icon for, um, for self sustainability and self power, acknowledging the power in which lies before you, which is of course your own. So I feel like with the magician coming up in your heart of your reading, you're very much aware of your ability to manifest a, something that you want, happiness. Now, if this is a relationship, a commitment, yeah, damn straight that you're manifesting it. It's a lot of work and I feel like you've gotten over the hurdle of it and now you're able to just be and enjoy and just, and you know, just be in the moment, like I said. Um, the reason why I say this is because the, sh the past shows the 10 of wands, so yeah, there was a little bit of a rough patch here. You're ready to, I think some of you guys were ready to just drop the burden, but something told you to keep going, keep pushing, keep making it home. And now that you've made it through that difficult, weird patch where you had so much on your plate, I feel like too, this burden of your life here, this burden here, oh, it may not be your life, but it may be things that you're dealing with right this moment. This burden, you, 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 you personally went through and made sh made this no longer an issue i i don't not quite sure how but i don't think i need to clarify how you did it because you already know exactly how you did it and it's good enough for you okay but the ten of wands whatever this feat was whatever this difficult patch was whatever this hurdle was to complete you completed it and now this temperance energy is literally just kind of keeping it balanced now keeping it balanced some of you guys may have picked up something else something new and it was like an overload of what of your over already overloaded basket and now you're just learning how to work and marry all of the of of the wands together in the best harmonious way possible you're taking what you believe to be impossible or the amount of things that you're dealing with right now to be impossible to, and making it possible. The September's energy is literally making the impossible possible. But it also indicates divine timing. And it also indicates individual flow, the individual chi, the individual balance, the flow of life, the flow, the constant flow of life. And I do feel like with temperance coming up in the heart of your, the, excuse me, the uh, present of your reading like this, I have this uh, idea that you're making space 
or you're 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 organizing your life or you're working on keeping things balanced because the ten of swords you do recognize this is here and it's not it's no longer you're no longer allowing that to dictate how your life will go let's see what is tempest coming up for in your present i want to get some more information regarding that Wow, the two of swords. So, for some of you guys, you may be seeing a Sagittarius, but I don't necessarily believe that it's just Sagittarian energy that's coming up. I feel like temperance is coming into play because there may be something that either you may be purposely trying to not acknowledge and it's in your face, or there's the two of swords where it's a difficult decision that you feel like you have to make in order for there to be peace it made in your life. Let's see, what is this difficult de this decision that you have to make? I feel like truly it has to do with the Three of Swords. Like acknowledging this is this is still a factor or big factor in as to why the, the, or as to the obstacle that gets in between you and your happiness. And just making the solemn decision to acknowledge this and to overcome this the best way that you can. In a healthy form. But I feel like you guys are working on balancing. Uh, having a, a peaceful chi in your life. A peaceful flow. Ow. That did not feel good. But it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> two of swords. Why is the two of swords coming up for the temperance energy? The ace of swords. Through a new truth. It's literally going backwards here with the ace of cup. With the, ace of, with the swords. So two of swords is clarified by the ace of swords. Some sort of perspective has come in. There may be a conflicting perspective or conflicting belief system. And perhaps your viewpoint is more supportive of the new idea, that new perspective that's come in. But you're torn because the way that you have been living has been a way that's been, you know, shielding a certain wound that may not have been healed. So how you move forward with this is upon you. So it's not necessarily anything that you're waiting on. If there is a period of pause in your life and it's initiated perhaps by the other person, it's perhaps to give you space to take care of some unfinished business with the Three of Swords. Now, I don't know I don't know if there's a person that's come back into your life, an ex or something like that, that's come back into your life to kind of persuade you to get back with them. This could strictly just be that this is a, a period in your life where you remember something that's hurt you and it's kind of brought up warning signals and apprehended or not apprehended you but it's making you second not second guess but really think twice about pursuing it i don't feel like you're truly afraid to pursue this but the hurt is definitely the pain that came with that with this situation here with the three of swords that is something that you'll never forget but is it worth the risk now but i feel like seriously though the situation that you're dealing with right now has a lot to do with something in the past that you may not have been able to fully, completely let go of. And it does require time, which it looks like this environment, this energy that you're in right now, even though you know what makes you happy is standing right in front of you, or what can make you happy standing right in front of you, there is a time, there is some time that's needed here. Now, your future shows the Ten of Pentacles. And I do like this future, this future for y'all. Because this does talk about commitments. To, you know, this is a building a legacy. Of being surrounded with, by people that you love and that support you. Full of abundance. And I do feel like, yes, through this balancing of yourself and getting everything, flo you know, flowing in a beautiful way. And, you know, removing the swords from your heart here, kind of on 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 standby here. It's like this whole relationship is seriously on standby because there's something here that you that that needs healing right now. And once that's done, you already you're you're there. You're right where you want to be. You're living. You you can live the physical manifestation of how you truly feel. So. Your best path to follow, or your advice, car is is the hangman. And the hangman does talk about seeing things from a different perspective. You got the ace, ace of swords and two of swords here. You're definitely seeing stuff from a different perspective. 
But it's allowing yourself to open up to receive that perspective. That's the biggest point, right? Because I feel like there's perspectives all around you. But there's rigid thinking. And I'm going to, I'm saying this with absolute sincerity and love and non judgment. But there's thinking involved that's very, very, it's not very close, it's not very open minded. I kind of get this feeling that the, that the, the perspective that's come at your door requires you to see it from a totally different angle, from an angle that you may not have even considered or maybe even wanted to see it as. But that's the key to open a certain door to get you to where you want to be, to see the potential of happiness. Because I don't know if you, because the sun is there shining in your face, right? And you know that is the symbol of happiness. But perhaps even though you see it as something happy, see it as something's great, there's something still there. There's some pain that still lingers that still that taints the sun a little bit. That gives the sun a little bit of a hue that doesn't make you feel very um, ambitious. Or it doesn't make you feel very confident in yourself. These the magician is the is the star star card for self esteem. And seeing yourself in, in, in a high esteem. And I feel like perhaps you need to see it from someone else's perspective. Perhaps there's someone that's come into your life to help you see that greatness in you. So that you can see it yourself. If you haven't noticed it already. If you've already noticed it. Then the perspective may be that there's something about the past that needs to be healed. Or there is a... There is a desire or there's a, a calling for something to be seen with, with more, either more optimism or with a totally different, a totally different idea of how things can go through. With the wheel of fortune coming up underneath the sun like this, I feel like with this new opportunity coming in, you have the power to do something differently, but you have to see it differently in order for it to, in order for you to do something differently. For some of you guys, this could straight up be that this is a relationship. And you've had a relationship before and it didn't turn out very well. And this one that's come in that makes you feel pretty good. That makes you feel like well up with a lot of emotion and make you feel so strongly. It's also kind of, you know, re making you resist it a little bit because it reminds you of the last time you were happy, the last time you were excited, the last time you were in so around someone that you like to be around and that warm feeling of, being the only person in the world was there and the last thing that happens is someone you know didn't really use that under use that 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 um they didn't use that platform respectfully in your in your eyes someone maybe you've taken advantage of it or maybe you just don't feel like that other person was respectful of that of your big heart so now you're more cautious of it you're more protective of it. You're more sheltering of it. So you're not quite, enam you know, you're not quite ecstatic to just kind of give away your heart after all this work went into keep, you know, creating a safe space for yourself. So the hangman is definitely talking about seeing something from a different perspective. The love that comes in, the sun, the way you do it, how you do it, how you can go about it, but also ultimately how much you've changed too. And how you won't let something like this happen again because, not because it's, you know, you've already gone through it once, but because it's left such a big impression. It's left such a big mark. It left such a, a, a huge, um, scar that it will never happen again. No matter how long you live, because that's always going to be in the back of your mind. You know, that sense of innocence was gone in this respect. But it doesn't mean that you can't have fun, like you like, uh, feel like well up with with youth, you know. So I do feel like with the three of swords there, that is what's going on with the hangman. Like there is something that there, there there's something that may need a different res different perspective from, and it will probably take some time before you see it. But it doesn't matter because the point of seeing the new perspective. Is not again not to just see it, but to completely believe it, and to live that truth from your perspective of understanding, and not from the perspective of what hurts. Still, it's living in a world where you can believe in its potential for happiness, rather than its potential for heartbreak. 
in pain. So your hopes and fears are showing up as the page of cups. That energy to me is so sweet, so innocent, and so pure. Some of you guys prefer or perhaps want that again. You want to nurture a relationship that maybe that is starting like this, that's starting so small, and just cherish it, to truly enjoy it, to 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 love it. But I'm not gonna lie to you. This is this page of cups energy. It has to grow up. It has to get older. And I feel like with the page of cups, I feel like some of you guys want to keep it as such a very pure and small energy, something that's easily, you know, easily, you know, uh, not easily, but excuse me, but like that you can totally trust because it's so innocent and so pure. Um, some of you guys, perhaps you guys might may want to express your feelings to communicate your emotions. You may want to express yourself in a way that does 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 show or magnify an area of vulnerability a part, part of vulnerability where you may may not feel you're ready to to express yet but i feel like you are already kind of there you're already there family let's see why the page of cups is coming up in the hopes and fears so, you know i'm kind of interested to see what else they, i'm kind of interested to see what else they have to say with that one <clears throat> The lovers. And then the Ten of Cups. Oh, you guys want to have love, a beautiful relationship, a strong family, strong unit, be surrounded by abundance. That's in your future already. And you are in so much in a way already beckoning that in. This the, the perspective that needs to change truly has to do with believing whether or not you deserve this happiness. That you can have this happiness. That you can make this happiness your reality. And not let the pain dictate what you can and cannot do. Which is why the hangman is coming up like this. I feel like you guys know it in yourself. That you can have a beautiful home. A wonderful thriving family. With great friends that surround you and love you. And all these beautiful things. But the three of swords. This pain. This 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 event that caused you to that either that created this belief of there can't be something nice there can't be something good or there's always something to overcome i'm not ready there's something that's holding me back whatever this blockage is it's something from a, the, from the past that truly and ultimately needs thorough healing the most thorough and no and 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 and, and so thorough in, fa in fact that even when you're going through and healing it, you're not, you, you, you can't let, the, the whole focus is not going to keep holding it back. The holding back I see is not the universe. The holding back is truly how you've seen and treated this. I don't think that this pain has power over you. But I do believe that this, that the situation is that you're that that you're kind of on hold because you're not ready or you don't feel that you're ready. But the harder you're reading here, the sun, the will of fortune, you are more than ready. You are born ready, Leo. You're born ready. You can heal yourself and expand yourself at the same time. You don't have to wait. The situation is not asking you to wait. Nobody is asking you to wait. The advice, the hangman, I don't believe this is saying, hey, wait for yourself to see this from a new perspective. But I feel like it's a saying to be open to the potential of a new perspective to shine upon you and open your eyes to a totally different view of how you can perceive or how you can receive the happiness that you desire. I totally apologize. I know it's blurry. I know it's like not focusing and stuff. But for some reason, it's just not. It's just not. Yeah, there we go. So in your energy here, you have justice coming up. And justice is is such a good card here because it also talks it talks about balancing situations out, getting a good flow going. But it also feels like 
it looks like things start to click and start to make sense and start to marry together. But it's acknowledging what needs to come first, right? What needs to come, but what needs to go, what needs to be, what needs to do, all those things. Acknowledge, and and I feel like the perspective that's that is or whatever it is that you may need to see differently or may that you may be trying to see differently is that your life is is in your control is in your is in your hands this pain is gone it's done it's over with and you are such a more highly aware person that this won't happen again and you're not afraid of this. I don't feel this fear of this. But I do feel that there is definitely the understanding of being able, like being close to encountering this. You know that you can encounter that. But I, like, are you ready enough? Yes. You're never going to ever truly be ready. So that automatically sets me to, yes, you are. And justice just to me tells me that things start to add up and start getting, you know, starting to equal itself out because you are in a position to balance it out wow all right so let's see what's going on you guys got a lot of ma uh, major arcana cards too so a lot of big things happening in your life but i honestly feel like you're in control of every piece of it whatever hold those setbacks that come up whatever whatever resistance comes up even if it is the other person that's saying nah i can't do this there is something that you haven't quite allowed yourself to believe yet. Look at this. Imagine. This is allowing yourself to dream. Allowing yourself to imagine greater things. Bigger things. To tr to allow yourself to enjoy the, the imagination. To connect with that part of your emotional aspect. To manifest what you want. Wow. To, to manifest is to dream. And then to dream is to feel. And in order to feel, you there's, of course, the acknowledgement of pain. And then the acknowledgement of pain is to, to love yourself. Love yourself more than you've ever loved yourself ever. Ah, love this. Be without malice. So this is to proceed forward, not worried about things sabotaging you, without things, you know, feeling like you, you you won't have the upper hand or you won't notice it. You have all the tools available to you to notice when somebody's not being right. You have the perspective to know when a situation isn't ideal for you. You know yourself better than anybody. So why not trust yourself with that, with that knowledge of knowing who you are and what works and what doesn't? It's such a big message this time. Everybody's got super big messages. And I feel like you guys have are literally right there knocking on the door to happiness. And it's just, it's, it's so beautiful seeing how far you guys have come from this to that. From this even to this. Overburning responsibilities, commitments, feeling crushed under the weight of things. To finding a way to be at peace with your world, with the self, and with the belief that there's certain ways of being and noticing that there is no way of being that's necessary for you to have what you want. 